In this video, let us see how do we install Eclipse into our system. So the operating system that I'm using here is Windows. So what will you do is we will go to our favorite any one of the browser that we want. Let me go to my Chrome here. You just need to type Eclipse download. So the first link that you see here, once you click on this link, it will redirect you to one page. So here you will be able to see install your favorite desktop ID package. So download the package now. So here you will be able to see the download button. Click on the download. It will take some time. So here once it's downloaded, let's go to the location where it's downloaded. Here it is. You just need to click on the installer. Here you are able to see the installer being started. So since we are using it for Java, you can use it for IDE for Java developers. If in case you are working on any enterprise edition such as Hibernate, Servlets or JSPs or in future if you are using for Spring, you can take up the enterprise edition. Since you are using for simple Java, you can take up the Java developers. So you just need to see the location where it is being installed. So the installation location is something like this. It is in the C drive inside the folder called users and inside the folder called user, I have another folder called alpha. So there I'm installing all my applications. So let me click on install. Scroll down and you just need to click accept now. So we have successfully installed our Eclipse into our system. Now let us see how do we execute our program into our Eclipse now. So from where do I go find my Eclipses? You go to your start, type Eclipse. So here you are able to see the app that which is installed into your system. So let's click on it. So this is how it will start your Eclipse in your system. Now, yes, this will be my workspace. Let me launch my Eclipse there. The Eclipse is being launched. Now, once it is being launched, let us see how do we write a simple Java program and execute it into our Eclipse. So let's close all these things. Let's close even here. Yeah. So I want to create a new Java project. So how do I do that? Click on create Java project. Give any name. I'll say my first project into my first project inside my SRC. I want to create my new Java file. So let me create one. I'll right click. You just need to click on new. You need to click on the SRC folder. You need to click right click. Click on new. I want to create a new Java class. I'll create the Java class as program Yes, let's finish it. Good. Now here, here, let me write. I don't want any modules into my SRC folder. Let me write a simple Java program. I'll write a simple main method. Here I'll write system.out.println. Hello world. Save it. On top, you will be able to see the run button. On click, you are getting the output. 